How are you doing, math learners? This is your free access math teacher, Ash, and welcome to ML with Sir Ash. For today's lesson, we're going to discuss how to illustrate rational algebraic expressions. So, before anything else, hit that subscribe button and notification bell for you to be updated of these cool clear math videos just like this. Hello math learners, welcome to our session. Today, we are going to discuss the most essential learning competency of grade 8 mathematics, quarter 1, week 3, which is focused on rational algebraic expression. But for today's lesson, we will be focusing on how to illustrate rational algebraic expression. But before we can illustrate rational algebraic expression, first, we need to know what is rational algebraic expression or the definition of rational algebraic expression. So, let's consider these three words. Let's start with the first word. We have rational. Rational come from the word ratio, which means in the elementary days, this is defined as the comparison of two quantities. So, if you consider a number with comparison of two quantities, we could consider those numbers as fractions, whole numbers, and decimals that can be convertible to fractions. Now, what are examples of this? Let's say we have 3 over 5. 3 over 5 is a rational number. Why? Because it is expressed into two quantities. While if we consider positive 10, is still a rational number because all rational numbers has, or all whole numbers rather, has an over 1 which is invisible. And finally, if we have 0 0.5 which is convertible to 1 half, then this is still a rational number. So, for this lesson, let's be focused on the comparison of two quantities and let's be... Um, specific that let's be focusing on fractions and whole numbers. Okay, now we are clear with the word rational. Let's go to the word algebraic. Algebraic, if we consider the word, the root word here is algebra, in which algebra is the use of constants, which are fixed numbers, and variables, which are values or which are letters from A. To Z that can be represented by any other values. So, what are examples of algebra? Technically, if you use the word or the, the value 3, that is a constant, that is an algebra. If you use the letter X, that is still considered as algebraic. And if you consider um, exponents such as X cubed, still it is an algebra or algebraic expression. Gets? Okay. So, let's put them together. Rational, the comparison of two quantities. Algebraic, the use of constant and variables. Or, constants and or variables. Okay. And finally, we have expressions. So, Sir Ash, what does expression mean? So, if we consider expressions, technically, it's like what we have in our English vocabulary. We have expressions such as, wow. Very good. However, these expressions do not express a complete thought. Same in mathematics, expressions are mathematical symbols. You can use operations. You can use um, either um, just the numbers or algebraic variables. However, it does not use equations. It does not use inequalities such that you cannot see equals not equal, greater, less than, greater than, less than or equal to, and, sorry, greater than and equal to. So, therefore, if we consider expressions, these things are not available. What are examples of expressions? So, if we have 3 plus 7, 3x minus 2, 5x squared plus 6, those are expressions. 
It's easy, right? So, by getting all of these definitions into one whole definition for rational algebraic expression are expressions that is expressed in two quantities in which the numerator and denominator are both polynomials. Okay, so the standard form of rational algebraic expression is P over Q, where P and Q are both polynomials. Now, this is the question. Sir Ash, what do you mean by polynomials? Remember that polynomials can be divided or can be classified into four different things. The first one is the monomial, meaning one term. Second is binomial, two terms. Trinomial, three terms. And lastly, four or more terms, that is what we call multinomial. Therefore, if the numerator is a polynomial and the denominator is a polynomial, then that is a rational algebraic expression. Okay, now let us consider some examples whether we can say that the given expression is a rational algebraic expression or not. Here it goes. Okay, math learners. Now let us consider an example and then let's test whether it is a rational algebraic expression or not okay what if we have 3x squared plus 7x minus 2 over 4x plus 3 okay in this example the numerator and denominator are both expressions why because in the numerator side it does not use any um, equations or inequalities same goes in the denominator side so both are equations are they rational? They are rational because there is two quantities that are being compared, the numerator and the denominator. Next question is, is it algebraic? Yes, this is algebraic because it is the use of constants and variables. However, however, can we say that as a whole, this is a rational algebraic expression? Five. All right, so very good. This is a rational algebraic expression because numerator and denominator are both polynomials. Now, let's consider another example. 1 over 2x plus 5. We have 1 over 2x plus 5. Is 1 a polynomial? Is 2x plus 5 a polynomial? Okay. 2x plus 5 is sure a polynomial because this is a binomial. Is 1 a polynomial? Yes, 1 is a polynomial because this is only one term and still there is no constraints about polynomials in this manner. Therefore, this whole given is a rational algebraic expression. Easy, right? Now, let's consider one more example. What if we have 5x plus 6? That's it. Is this considered a rational algebraic expression? Okay, the correct answer is this is still a rational algebraic expression. Question is, Sir Ash, why is it this one is a rational algebraic expression? There is no denominator. Remember that all whole numbers or an expression without a denominator side has an invisible over 1, which means that it is still considered as a quantity or a comparison of two quantities, numerator and denominator. Okay, now, for sure, you are wondering, Sir Ash, how do we know or how do we consider that the given example is not a rational algebraic expression? Okay, remember this, math learners. We all know that rational algebraic expression is that the numerator is a polynomial and the denominator is a polynomial. Now, if there is one possibility, whether it is in the numerator or denominator, if there is one possibility that that one given, either numerator or denominator, that is not a polynomial, then the whole given expression is not a rational algebraic expression. Now, question, Sir Ash, how do we know that it is not a polynomial. Okay. Now, what are the constraints in order for it not to become a polynomial? Okay. 
There are four instances. And math learners, remember this. For us to know that the given is not a polynomial, it should not have. Okay. First, it should not have a variable inside the radical sign. When you see an example, either in numerator or denominator, in which a variable is inside a radical sign, then that is not a polynomial. Clear? Okay, very good. Second, if you have a variable with a negative exponent, y to the negative 3. If the exponent is negative, then that is not a polynomial. Okay, next. We have number three, a variable that is under the denominator side. Now, for sure you are wondering, Sir Ash, how about this example? We can see that x is under is in the denominator side. Then, th therefore, we can say that this is not a polynomial. Technically, as a whole, this is not a polynomial. However, we are talking about rational algebraic expression in which the numerator is a polynomial the denominator is a polynomial if we see this separately it is a polynomial right if we see this separately it is still a polynomial then the whole given expression is a rational algebraic expression however if you see that this one let's say we change this one as um we have x oh ah, sorry sorry so, what if we change this one into 4 over x plus 3? Then this example is not a rational algebraic expression. Why? This may be a polynomial. However, in this part, it is not a polynomial. Then we can say that this is not a rational algebraic expression. Easy, right? So, remember this one. Remember, kids, separate. Look at the given separately, numerator and denominator. If the numerator is polynomial, then check. If the denominator is polynomial, check. And if it satisfies, then that is a rational algebraic expression. So in here, we see this separately as a polynomial. If the polynomial has a variable inside the radical sign, not polynomial. A variable with an exponent of negative, not a polynomial. A variable with... A variable that is under the denominator side, not a polynomial. And finally, if we have, sorry, and finally, we have, um, let's say, x to the power of one half. An exponent that is a fraction or a rational number. Okay? So, therefore, if these things are seen in the given um, polynomial or in the given expression, then we can say that the given expression is not a rational algebraic expression. Otherwise, if we see a lot of exponents, as long as it is not negative, as long as it is not a fraction, then we can still say that it is a rational algebraic expression. Okay? Easy, right? Now, this is the time that I will be giving you that this try these exercises for you to see whether you have understood our lesson. This is a test yourself to illustrate whether the given expression is a rational algebraic expression or not a rational algebraic expression. So, this is it. Alright, math learners, I hope you have learned a lot of topics about our introduction in Rational Algebraic Expression, which is focused on how to illustrate Rational Algebraic Expression. Now, before I will end our discussion, let me give a shout out to our one of the subscribers known as Angeline Bellio Vlogs. Um, she is one of the subscribers that asked for me to shout out in the next video, which is this one. So hopefully, you will subscribe also to her channel because there are a lot of things you may learn about her. And math learners, I hope this has given you a lot of things to consider in your online learning and even in your modular learning and blended learning. 
in our time of pandemic. This is still your free access math teacher, Ash. And always remember, it is fun to learn mathematics if we are together learning. Thank you, God bless, and be safe always.